Hi students, welcome to my channel, English with Miss Pineapple. My name is Christina, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing one of my favorite hobbies and topics, which is clothing and shopping. We're going to be taking a look at some phrasal verbs for both clothing and shopping. I hope that you enjoy it, and let's get started. So let's start with our first phrasal verb, put on. To put on something means to start wearing something. Now this phrasal verb is a separable phrasal verb, which means that we can use it in two different ways. We can use it together or separated with some words in the middle of it. Let me give you two examples. First, Lauren, put on her boots. I can also say, Lauren, put her boots on. And our second phrasal verb is take off, which means to remove a piece of clothing. Now, this phrasal verb is also a separable phrasal verb, so we can use it in two different ways, together and separated. So let's take a look at that first example. Tom always takes off his shoes when he arrives home. Or Tom always takes his shoes off when he arrives home. Our third phrasal verb is try on, which means to put on a piece of clothing to see if it fits. This phrasal verb is also separable. Let's take a look at the first example. Emily tries on the jeans to see if they fit. Or Emily tries the jeans on to see if they fit. Now our fourth phrasal verb is dress up, which means to put on clothes that are more fancy or formal than the clothes we usually wear. This phrasal verb is intransitive, which means it does not require a direct object, and also which means that it cannot be separable. Let's take a look at an example. The couple dressed up to go to a fancy restaurant. Our fifth phrasal verb is do up, which means to fasten an item of clothing. This phrasal verb is separable, so we can have two different ways of using it. The first example would be, it's more comfortable if I don't do up the top button of my shirt. Or, it's more comfortable if I don't do the top button of my shirt up. Number six, hang out, which means to dry clothes on a clothesline outside after washing. This one is also separable. First example, I told my roommate to hang out the wet clothes before dark. I told my roommate to hang the wet clothes out before dark. Now the seventh example, take in to make a piece of clothing more narrow or tight. This is also a separable phrasal verb. So the first way that we can use this phrasal verb is you will have to take in that shirt. It's too loose on you. Or you will have to take that shirt in. It's too loose on you. Number eight, throw on to put on an item of clothing quickly without much thought. And this one is also separable. Let's take a look at an example. She was in such a hurry that she threw on a dress and ran out the door. Or she was in such a hurry that she threw a dress on and ran out the door. Number nine, zip up, 
to close an item of clothing with a zipper. And this one is also separable. Let's take a look at an example. Barbara zipped up her winter coat. Or Barbara zipped her winter coat up. Number 10, hang up to put something on a hanger. And this one is also separable like most of them. <laughs> Let's take a look at an example. Alan hung up his shirts in the closet after ironing them. Or Alan hung his shirts up in the closet after ironing them. Number 11, have on, to be wearing something like a piece of clothing. And this phrasal verb is also separable. I always have on a hat when it's sunny outside. Or I always have a hat on when it's sunny outside. Number 12, sell out which means to sell all the supply that you have of something. Now, this phrasal verb is intransitive, which, if you remember, means that it doesn't require a direct object. Let's take a look at an example. Unfortunately, the coat that Aubrey wanted sold out within three days. Number 13, kick off which means to remove your shoes quickly by shaking your feet. Now, this phrasal verb is also separable. So let's take a look at a sentence. They kicked off their shoes as soon as they got home. Or they kicked their shoes off as soon as they got home. Number 14, line up which means to wait for something in a line with people. This phrasal verb is intransitive. So for example, they lined up for six hours in order to get the limited edition sneakers. Number 15, shop around, which means to compare prices elsewhere before buying. This phrasal verb is intransitive. For example, my mother is shopping around for a new pair of sandals. Number 16, turn down, which means to refuse something. And this phrasal verb is separable. Let's take a look at an example. Once she heard the price of the scarf, she turned down the matching gloves. Or once she heard the price of the scarf, she turned the matching gloves down. Number 17, slip on, which means to put on a piece of clothing quickly and easily. This phrasal verb is separable. For example, Sarah slipped on her pajamas and rushed into bed. Or Sarah slipped her pajamas on and rushed into bed. Number 18, try out, which means to test out something to see if you like it. This phrasal verb is separable. Let's take a look at an example. Daniel is trying out his new running shoes, or Daniel is trying his new running shoes out. Number 19, bring down, which means to reduce the amount of something, for example, to reduce the price. This phrasal verb is separable. Let's take a look at an example. They decided to bring down the price on the shirt after the customer complained about a stain. Or they decided to bring the price down on the shirt after the customer complained about a stain. Number 20, your last phrasal verb for today, I promise. It will be pick out, which means to choose or select something from a group of things. This phrasal verb is separable. Let's take a look at one example. 
we picked out the perfect swimsuit for our exotic vacation. Or we picked the perfect swimsuit out for our exotic vacation. And we've reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. I hope that I was able to teach you some new phrasal verbs for your next shopping experience. If you like the video, please leave a comment down below. Also, if you have any questions or any ideas for any future videos, also please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. Thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.